Hello to everyone. So already in our previous videos, we discussed about phosphory transform. So in the video, we are going to discuss about phosphory transform only. So we are going to solve inverse discrete Fourier transform with the help of FFT DEF algorithm. So previous videos, we discussed about IDFT FFT DEF algorithm. So now we are going to discuss about FFT DEF for inverse discrete Fourier transform. So we are considering one small example only. It's a 4 point DFT. X of K is given 10 minus 2 plus J2 minus 2 minus 2 minus J2. So IDFT on the DAF use for number of DAF for now. We are all know about the procedure. So let uh, inputs on the we are assigning in normal order only. Then initially we have to do 4 point DFT which is followed by 2 point DFT. Then output on the, the reversal order that you have to take error image and represent in normal order. So let us begin with the 4 point DFT. So let us begin with 8 point DFT. So inputs we are taking normal order only 10 minus 2 plus J2 minus 2 minus 2 minus J2. We have sent all the inputs normal order only. So now draw the structure. First line to the third line. Second line to fourth line. Similarly, third line to first line. Fourth line to second line. So structure is ready. Here minus 1. Here also minus 1. So apply the two factors. W 4 power 0. That is 1. And W 4 power 1. Actually this W 4 power minus 0. This is equal to W 4 power minus 1. Because we are using inverse of forward transform. So therefore here it becomes plus J. So today factor is also applied. Now we can start the calculations. So here 10 is coming and here you are having minus 2. So 10 and minus 2 you are getting 8. So at this point your output becomes 8. Similarly here minus 2 plus J2 and here you are having minus 2 minus J2. So this J term cancel each other. So therefore we are getting minus 4 here. The next one here 10 and this minus 2 into minus 1 we are getting plus 2. So therefore 10 plus 2 12. 12 is multiplied with this one. So therefore you are getting 12. 10 again minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2. So 10 plus 2 12. 12 into 1 12. So now minus 2 plus j2 and here you are having so after multiplication you are having plus 2 and plus 2j. So at this point you are having only plus 4j. So plus 4j is multiplied with this j it becomes minus 4. So is it clear? Once again I am repeating this. Minus 2 plus j2 is coming here and here you are having plus 2 as well as plus j2. So plus 2 and minus 2 cancel each other plus j2 as well as plus j2. At this point you are having plus 4j. Plus 4j multiplied with this j you are having minus 4. So that is obtained here. So at this stage you are getting the outputs 8, minus 4, 12 and minus 4. So now we have to move towards the 2 point DFT. So first consider only first two inputs and here the total factor is W4 power 0 that is 1. So 8 and minus 4 here we are having 4. Then 8 plus 4 this becomes plus 4 minus 4 into minus 1 plus 4. So here you are getting 8 plus 4 12. Similarly, we are calculating next two. 
so 12 as well as minus 4 minus 1 and the total factor is 1 so 12 and minus 4 here you are getting 8 12 minus 4 8 and at this point this 4 becomes plus 4 so therefore you are getting 16 here so these are the outputs so therefore where x of n is but actually these things are available in the bit reversal things so you have to rearrange them actually this is where x of 0 and this is x of 2 this is x of 1 and this is x of 3 so you have to rearrange them in the normal order so first write x of 4 that is 4 next x of 1 8 x of 2 12 then x of 3 16 so as I discussed in my previous video in inverse discrete Fourier transform your final answer has to be divided by n so here our n value is 4 it is a 4 point dft so therefore divided by 4 so after division you will get to a new x of n values as 1 2 3 and 4 so this is our required x of n value so 1 2 3 and 4 so once again i am repeating the procedure alone so we start this inverse specific Fourier transform with eight, uh, sorry, 4 point DFT first, then we are proceeding the 2 point DFT. So here at the end of the 2 point DFT, we are getting the outputs in the bit reversed manner. Then we have to convert them in the normal order. At the end, you have to divide your answer by n value. In this case, n is 4. So divide your final answer by 4. So afterwards, we are getting the x of n value. So I hope all of you understand about this problem. So the video on the like button, share button, subscribe to my channel. And if you are having any feedbacks, please comment section on the comment button. Thank you. Thanks for watching.